Welcome to the Imbon training video. The example that this video covers is an IT bond. The mode of transportation is truck. It's being imported from Toronto, Ontario, Canada to Buffalo, New York, with the final entry being done in Houston, Texas. Click Start Video to begin. Click on the new icon to create a new Imbon transaction. Enter the broker reference number and the shipper reference number. Click the ellipsis button to choose your client from the database. Click the ellipsis button to choose the bill to party. Then click the open in bond document button. Click the no button. We are going to complete this inbound from scratch. You can use this function in the future to copy previous inbound info. Click the electronic inbound checkbox. This means that you plan on transmitting the inbound to customs rather than just printing it as a paper inbound. This is a truck inbound, but you would want to check the AMS box if your shipment arrived to the U.S. by a mode of transport where an AMS was filed. Select or type in the first U.S. port of unlading. Verify the date of arrival and mode of transportation. Select if you have BTA or FDA merchandise. Here you will either type in your inbound number or have it auto-populate. If you'd like it to auto-populate, contact the Smart Border support team. Customs will assign you a range of numbers that our programming team will program in for you. Confirm the class of entry. Verify the importer and enter their tax ID. Select the bonded carrier and enter the carrier's tax ID. Fill in the Customs Port Director for Port of Termination for IT Bonds, Port of Exportation for T&E Bonds, or Port of Arrival for IE Bonds. And you only need to enter the final foreign destination for T&E and IE Bonds. Enter the shipper information or select it from the database. Click the Consignee tab. Type in the Consignee information or select it from the database. Enter the foreign port of lading. Select the issuer's SCAC code for the carrier and enter the bill of lading number. Enter the name of the conveyance that this was imported on, as well as the flag country of the importing vessel or truck. The port where this shipment was exported from, as well as the date when it was exported. Enter the location of where the goods are currently at. This completes the first half of the inbound. Now we will complete the information about the merchandise that is bonded. Click the Bill of Lading tab. Enter the value of the merchandise. If unknown, you can enter $20 per kilo and check the estimated box. Enter the voyage or trip number. For trucks, enter 1. Click the Edit button to edit the bill of lading information. Most of the information on this screen will pull over from the main screen. Enter the total packages and unit of measure. Enter the weight and unit of measure. Click on the Containers Notify Parties tab. Click the Add button to add in container information. Click the General tab. Enter the container number and container description code. Add 
a description of the product. Click to add marks and numbers. Click the Tariff Number tab. Click Add to add the tariff numbers. Type in the tariff number or click the ellipsis button to utilize the tariff picker. Please note that tariff information is not required for IT bonds, but it will print out on the bond form. Enter the quantity, value, and weight. Here you can add any notify parties or secondary notify parties. Click the footer tab to complete the remainder of the inbound. Enter in the agent or carrier information. Click the CF7513 info tab. This screen is to file the shipper's export declaration for in-transit goods. This is regulated by the Army Corps of Engineers. The Army Corps of Engineers has suspended the requirement to file the Form 7513. Click the link for more details. Click the File menu. Click Save. Review the warnings and errors. Click Yes to mark the inbound complete. Click to close the inbound and return to the Transaction screen. Click on the Inbound menu. Then click Transmit Inbound. Then click the View Inbound ABI Messages to review your message back from Customs. This is the response you want to see from Customs, Bill Accepted for Inbound. And you'll use the Inbound control to notify Customs of an inbound arrival, departure, export, or to transfer bond liability. Click Print or Print Preview to view and print your 7512 form. Choose to print on regular plain paper or to print on a form. Click to print or to save the document as PDF and email it. Thank you for watching this video. We hope it was helpful for you. For further assistance, you can view the user manual, search the knowledge base, or submit a ticket to our support team.